Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video will be our July favorites. <laughs> so I'm really excited about these products. Some are new, some are rediscovered in my collection and I just wanted to share what I've been kind of loving this past month. So let's get started with what do we get started with? You know, this is what I struggle with every day. We will get started with skincare, maybe. That sounds like a good plan. So, two things that I have been using every day in my routine is, number one, the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. <laughs> and this is in the mattifying version. So, if you guys don't know, Makeup Forever launched a bunch of various types of primers and one of them was the mattifying primer that's this one here they have a hydrating pie primer they have a one that makes you glow they have a bunch of different ones so i picked up this one this is actually the travel size that you can pick up at sephora because i wasn't really sure if i was going to love it or hate it if it will really work for me or not so i decided i'd try the little guy and oh my gosh i love it it's amaze balls so you only need the tiniest little pea drop and then you just kind of take that at least for me because i'm oily in my t-zone i take that through my t-zone and kind of just pat it in and let it be for a second and let it set now once it sets it does have a little bit of a white cast don't worry it will be fine once you apply your foundation over this it truly mattifies my t-zone even if i'm using a dewier more luminous foundation it doesn't get out of control because you know us girls who have oily t-zones or oily skin in general you know that there's a fine line between dewy and glowy and a crisco oil slick mess so this definitely bridges that gap and makes sure that you don't fall to the other side of that problem so love 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 this guy Along with it, I have been shockingly really, really into Fix Plus. This is the one that it was limited edition. Don't get me started. You guys know I hate that. Uh, but it was limited edition. This is in the Yuzu scent. Yes, the Yuzu scent. And it is a citrusy but very light citrus smell to it but in general i have just been loving the prep and prime i use it for several different ways or use it in several different ways um after i wash my face in the morning and apply my toner i do the fix plus when i'm applying my makeup and especially when i'm going in with my concealer and my beauty blender i spray this on my beauty blender along with a different setting spray to kind of really set that in um, i spray this when my makeup is complete just to you know kind of set it in place i spray this as a refresher it is amazing that i'm only this far into it because i love it two things that i have rediscovered from my collection are my NARS foundation products. This is the All Day Weightless Luminous, no, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. <laughs> and this, I have this one in the color Macau. This is my summer shade. It is, I just forgot how much I loved it. I hadn't pulled it out in a while in part because it says luminous and me and the luminous in the summertime don't always mix, but with this primer, I have been able to definitely pull off this more luminous, dewy foundation, which pairs so, so very well with this whole strobing situation that's going on. And it's it's been, been lovely. What I've also been enjoying, which I did in the past, is I often would mix these two together. This is the NARS Radiant Tints and Moisturizer, and I have it in the color Seychelles Medium Dark 2. Uh, I love mixing these together. Um, a lot of times, this is such a serum-like foundation and a little bit goes a long way because it's such so highly pigmented that I find it not difficult, but 
mixing it with a drop of this makes it easy to kind of place it on my face and kind of spread it out and and make a nice even application and gives me a little more time to work with it because this does dry down really quickly uh but i like mixing these two together i like the finish that it gives it is still very skin like but it's also very glowy i have been loving the anastasia dip brow i have it in the color ebony uh as you can tell i've been getting into it so that's the color there i'm actually wearing it today to fill in my brows um i do use this in combination with the brow wiz i tend to line define it's probably a better word the bottom part of my brow with the brow wiz and then i fill it in with dip brow i'll bring you in a little bit so you can see my brow situation you guys have seen <laughs> several videos and tutorials with me wearing Boom Boom Room from MAC. I mean, how pretty and iridescent and multifaceted of a color is that? Oh, I just love it. Uh, Boom Boom Room, again, limited edition from the Late Disco Collection at MAC. Um, if you couldn't get your hands on it, Urban Decay does have a color called Solstice that I've been told is a very, very good dupe for Boom Boom Room. But I just love it. I won't harp on it. I did a tutorial, get ready with me, with it. Um, it's very multi-dimensional, has a bunch of different colors in it, and it's just really, 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 really pretty and sparkly and gray for the summertime. So if you guys didn't get a chance to pick it up, check out Solstice from Urban Decay. If you did pick it up, girlfriend, you need to be using it. That's all I'm saying. And this is a blush. It's called Liberté. So pretty. It is like a corally burnt orange kind of color. I can swatch it for you guys. Although I don't know if you will really be able to see it. So that is it right there. As you can see, it's not a super bright color. It's very subtle. But I think it's really pretty, and I think that it goes pairs really well with um, more smoky. I can't talk today. It pairs very well with smokier eye looks because it's just a hint of color, and I think the orange that's in it really kind of lends well to my bit more of tan skin and when I just want to kind of define my cheekbones and not really play up that area because I'm doing a lot with my eyes and my lips or what have you so Liberté from NARS is amazing my other favorite in that same area is my Morphe S13 brush um, I picked this up in the collection that was on the flash sale on Hope Look but I'm sure you can pick it up on the site it's just an angled blush brush uh, don't judge me it's a little dirty because I use it every day it just fits perfectly right in this area and they're very soft and nice I just they blend color out so effortlessly I just really really enjoy this brush and you guys know my ride or die blush brush is the Sonia Cashy double ended blush double ended brush so you know it must have taken a lot to get me to love another so Morphe S what's it called S13 brush love 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 Ardell lashes and the one tans these are slowly becoming some of my favorite. Now, if you guys don't already know, I rarely apply, apply lashes, but I want to kind of try something new. I had actually gone to a Simply Stylist event here in Chicago, and um, one of the lovely... Uh, makeup artists who were there. She actually applied the Demi Wispies on me and I just love how they looked when I was wearing them. I was like, oh, maybe I am a lash girl. Like I used to wear lashes a lot more in the past, but I just found them to be difficult. Like I never got really good at it and I'm still working on my lash game. So don't judge me. So another favorite of mine Finally, a favorite from MAC that is in the permanent collection. This is Whirl from MAC. It is part of the La Matte Lip Collection. And as everybody probably knows, MAC has a lip pencil in the same color that has been all the way for quite some time. And then they formulated this lipstick in the same color, which I thought was very, very smart of them. There we go. 
So very brownie nude, at least a brownie nude for me. I know it shows up much darker on a lot of people. I mean, obviously, depending on your skin complexion. But I love it. It is a very comfortable matte, which is shocking for me from MAC because I generally don't like their mats. But I think the problem is I don't like their retro mats. But these mats are very, very comfortable to wear. Um, they're matte, so they're long lasting with a little bit of prep. You can kind of get away with it all day. And it's just really a pretty nice everyday nude color for me. So I really love it. So this is Whirl from MAC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I haven't really been reaching for a red lip lately and I think that's mostly because a lot of my red lips are really deep and dark and almost vampy colors and I just feel like it wasn't the season for it. I went ahead and pulled out a tried and true favorite of mine and this combination is from MAC and this is Mysterious Red. It's a matte lip pencil. It's very very pretty and it's a true red so it's not too dark not too orange it's a very very pretty just basic red color and i love this pencil because i will outline my lips with this pencil to really get that base and really get that crisp kind of line and then i will go in with the prettiest color ever and this is rita i have a friend named rita so every time i say it, it makes me laugh so this is rita it's a very beautiful red as well and these two just pair really well together that's Rita right next to it, the larger swatch. And it's just such a pretty red, perfect for the summertime. This uh, color Rita is one of the audacious lipstick colors that launched a little while back for the anniversary of NARS. And it's just such a, I could not love this formulation anymore. It's so beautiful. It's so creamy, yet long wearing. When it fades, it fades in a very beautiful, even stain almost. It's so pretty. Match made in heaven, these two. Match made in heaven. The Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. It has been reformulated in this new packaging. Has a little pump as it always did, but just kind of new, prettier packaging. This stuff is the bomb.com as far as a liquid illuminizer goes. I love it. A little bit goes such a long way. And to be honest, you guys, I have like a little sample pot that something came in that I was sampling. I cleaned it out and then I thought my camera just cut off. <laughs> I cleaned it out and then what I, I take a pump and squirt it into that little sample pot and then I use the product from the sample pot if that makes any sense. Because one pump of this is way too much product and you'll just end up wasting the whole bottle. Again, with this whole strobing thing that is so popular right now, this is a perfect base to any highlighter that you want to apply and will make it last longer, make it pop a little bit more. And then, honey, if you are ready for the, the streets, then you put a little Fix Plus right over that highlighted area and you will glow it, 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 I mean, it's like from, they can see you from Mars. They can reach down, highlight definitely on fleek. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now, the last product we're going to talk about today because we have covered a few and Mama's thirsty and she forgot her water. But the last thing we're going to talk about, I would be remiss if I did not mention this. And guess this is going to be the 1300th time you've heard someone speak about it. But everybody is talking about it because it is the absolutely most beautiful product that I've ever put on my face. And ladies and gentlemen, I will be referring to Champagne Pop yes honey yes this is let me just start the beginning this is the collaboration between becca cosmetics and jacqueline hill the queen the queen jacqueline hill um they collaborated together to formulate this product now this is amazing for so many reasons one because Jacqueline is a huge youtuber and to know that she is able to do a major collaboration with a major brand just goes to show you how how people on YouTube are beauty influencers like they make a difference in the industry that we all really love so number one that's amazing number two this highlight is everything everything do you hear me now I am always been a lover of a gold highlight 
it's my thing i think it's the most flattering color on my skin tone so i love it this surprisingly and much to the chagrin of a lot of people is a very very versatile highlight and that was her intention she wanted to create a highlight that a lot of skin tones could rock and I think she hit it right out of the ballpark. This is so freaking pretty, you guys. I'm going to swatch it. Not to mention, it is the butteriest, most blendable product in life. Like, Becca is already known for their amazingness. Look at that. So the bottom is just kind of a straight swatch, and then I blended it out right above it i mean i know this is a janky swatch but what are you gonna do uh it is such a buttery product that it blends out so beautifully and the gold in it has a bit of a peachy undertone and i i believe that's what makes it so flattering on so many different skin tones i do have it on today oh do you see let me bring you in because i don't think y'all understand what's happening right now do you see this I mean, now, don't get me wrong. I went ham because that's what I do with a highlight. But, oh, I mean, really? Do you see it? Do you really? I know y'all can't take this. I mean, I'm, I'm going to pass out here from loving this highlight so much. But I will digress. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. It is also limited edition. And I'm not a fan of beautiful products being limited edition. What I'm going to say to you lovely people who have taken time out of your day to watch this video that is probably about to be far too long. If you do nothing with your life and you love highlight, go get this. Find it. Call some people, call your local Sephora, call your JCPenney Sephora, get online. I don't know if it's still available online. They have them in store. Do your due diligence and figure out if you can pick this product up because it is, I mean, did y'all see that? Really? I mean, it's like you get lost in your own reflection. It's so pretty. You need this. If you're into highlight, you need this. If you want to try strobing, you need this. Okay, maybe need is a strong word. There are other things on the market that you can achieve, achieve a glowy, sun-kissed, highlighted, strobed out, disco ball status highlight. But they're not Becca. This is amazing. I, I mean, how many times am I going to do this before y'all understand how pretty it is? And I went ham. So I, under the brow, on the brow bone, above, on the cheekbone, cupid's bow tip. I mean, I went ham on this highlight. So clearly I love it and I don't even care. And I just want to share with you <laughs> the things that I've been loving all this month. That is one of several, obviously, but we'll probably just wrap this up. Thank you for coming back if you have been here before. If you have not, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Please, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button. I would love for you to know every time I upload a new video. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button. And, you know, follow me on all my social media. I am at Miss Kanisha Sheree on everything. So check me out. I will work on snapping a little bit more. I've been off my game a little bit, but I'm getting back on it. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for all of my July favorites. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you in another video. And that's it. Bye. <laughs>